Hi everybody, welcome back to Fossman Media. This channel is all about the FOSS. In today's video, we're going to build a Python script that will count the characters in any given string of text. This type of application can be used to help locate elements on a web page, to find the index of a particular character within a document, or for use in other scripts, and for many other reasons as well. So with all that being said, let's get started. And to do that, I'm just going to jump over to a terminal and create the document. And I'm on a Linux system, so to do this, I'll just be using the uh, touch command. So, yeah, and I'm just going to call it char count dot py. And if I ls, there it is in the top left. So, but it's not yet executable. So before we can run it, I obviously have to do that. And to go up making executable, we can just use the change mod command. So chmod plus x, and then the name of your script. Oh. And now if I ls that shell, yep, you can see it up at the top there and it's now executable. So now with that done, we can uh, just open up a new text editor and get going. And I'm going to be using Sublime for today, but of course, any other text editor will do just fine. So, oh. yep, and there we go. And one of the first things we're going to have to do is create the shebang. And the shebang just tells the interpreter um, where to uh, find or where Python is installed on the system. And to do that, you can just use an exclamation mark, or sorry, a pound symbol, followed by an exclamation mark, and then the path to your Python 3. So for me, I'm going to open up the terminal and use the which command. So which uh, Python 3. And there's the path. So I'm just going to copy that. And go back to Sublime and just paste it in there. So now with that in there, we can um, yeah get started. We uh, we don't have to import any libraries because everything we'll be using will just be from the the uh, the standard library. So we're good there. And yep, we can just get going with the uh, the meat and potatoes of our script. So the first thing I'm going to do is just print out a title for the user. And that'll look something like this. And I just have an empty string there to bump us off the top of the window. And I print uh, char count.py. And the print. And then I'll just underline it here. So like so, and then the next thing we have to do is just print out a, uh, a title for the user, just to ask them to paste their string and hit enter. So we can do that with this command right here. Please uh, paste your string below and hit Oh, I get hit uh, enter. And now that the uh, user knows what to do, knows what to do, uh, we need to provide them with an input. So to do that, we can now uh, just create a variable here called char count and make it equal to input. And this is, of course, where the user will enter their information or the string that they wanted to uh, count the characters for. And I'm just going to make it look like a prompt. So just like that with a space. And now we can create our main function. So before we do that, though, I think I'm just going to test this quick. Uh, not that there's that much to test, but yeah, let's just see what we have so far. So print. And I guess I'll just print out the variable char count. And so now I'll save it. 
and go back over to the terminal and I'll run char count pi. And whatever string that we enter in here should just be printed out to the to the uh, the screen at the bottom here. Yep, and there it is right there. So with that done, we can go back to Sublime. Let's clear this first. Uh, yep, that'll do. And next, we can just create our function. And before we do that, we can get rid of this. We don't need that anymore. And, and so to do that, uh, we just need to define it and do that as main. And then we'll have to create a variable to hold our string in. And we'll also have to convert the uh, our count the character story in the string and then convert it back into a string. And then we'll be able to print out the uh, value. So uh, result equals str for string, uh, length to calculate the length of the string, and then our variable. And after that, I'm just going to print out a title uh, and call it results. Like so. And then maybe I'll just underline it. So uh, just like that. And yeah, now we can just print out the final result. So print and then result plus um, yep just a uh, bump it down a line there and that should be about it now all we have to do is uh, execute it so to do that we can just go like this execution so if name equals uh, main uh, run main. And that's about it. So I'll save this. And just going to have a quick look here first. So we already proved out our input. And we set the variable result with char count, and it will be counted by length converted to a string. And then we're going to print that out right here and execute it down here. So let's uh, jump over the terminal and uh, see if everything works. So. Um, And I'll want to a string. And I guess I'll just do a short one to start. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'd enter. And our results 10. So it's working. But maybe we just clean up a little bit and I'll just push that 10 over. And yeah, and maybe just try it with a bigger string. So I'll clear that. And then head back over to Sublime. And to push that over, yeah, I'll just add a space right there. And because that's a variable that's being printed out. And now we can try this with the uh, largest string. So I'll just save this and then jump back over to the sublime. Or sorry, to the terminal. And then we'll just run our command again. Uh, maybe just try it with a small string again once more quick. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, looks good. And I'll clear that. And to test it on a larger string, um, I also have a, uh, a script on here that I made to uh, generate random passwords. And I'm thinking we can use that just to generate a really long password. And that'll also give us the uh, characters that are in that password. So that way we can use a, um, a really long value 
to pass in and know the val or know how many characters are in that ahead of time. So yeah, I think I'll just try that. And before I do that, I guess I can uh, maybe I'll just split the terminal here and do it side by side. So I'll split it vertically, and let's we'll make this a bit bigger. So have a look in here, and the tool that I want to use is called KeyMaker. Py, and I'll run that. And for now, I guess I'll just use all punctuation, so S7. And for an amount, uh, I'm thinking maybe 1,024. Yeah, it should be big enough. So I'll hit enter. And there's the uh, monstrous string. So I'll copy this. And down to there. So I'll copy. And then I'll go back over here. And I'll run our char count again. So, and then I'll paste in that monstrous string. And when I hit enter, we should see 1024. Beautiful. 1024. And so, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, this is, uh, all I can think of to show you. And if you guys would like to know how to make this program, um, I've actually already uh, uploaded a video uh, recently on how to do that. And this is just a, um, a script to generate uh, random passwords. So if you're in the, uh, if you need something like that, uh, definitely feel free to check out the video on that too. But yeah, so I hope this uh, helped and that you guys may have some kind of use for it. And yeah, I think that's it. So thank you for uh, checking out the video on the channel. And I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.